So, <clears throat> so how to deliver the radiation to many cancer cells as much as possible while having a minimal effect on other normal cells? The problem is this radiation is uh, usually we use a so strong high energy photon which will usually penetrate or pass through or uh, go straight through our tissue. Even if the tumor is maybe in the middle of the inside body, the, the radiation has to go through somehow some part of this normal tissue. So the important question is, how do we deliver the radiation only for, mostly for cancers while minimizing the exposure of normal cells or tissue to this radiation. For this, we have a, uh, the radi radiobiologist developed a way to make this more effective. So this is a, a data cur a, a curve showing that total dose as an x-axis, y-axis as a uh, assay of the cells <clears throat> with a surviving cell fraction. So what does this mean is let's say we so this surviving cell fraction gives an important uh, uh, a ways of how we irradiate the uh, cells, especially the cells with, let's say, let's just we have to give a 10 gray of those. So we can adjust the timing of doses, or as I said, the, this radiation has an accumulative effect that uh, for tumor cells, let's say, uh, we give 10 gray in one time, and, but um, maybe five gray one time and two times, it will have an uh, accumulative effect for tumor where there's a, a less of a, a DNA repair mechanism. But what about the normal cells? Uh, if normal cells get this high dose uh, in one time, it becomes a problem. There will be more necrosis and more side effect. So what this graph shows a rationale for uh, this dose fractionation. So with 10 gray, we just give one time, then let's say uh, less than 1% of cells will survive, which is, uh, which is bad for our normal tissue. So if we divide into two, then it will be, let's say, uh, much higher portion of the cells will survive. If we divide this as a 32, you can see about 10% of the cells can still survive. So while this can, the, the cumulative effect to on, the, on the cancer will remain the same, but we can save normal cells better. So this way is uh, by splitting the total amount of delivered radiation in a number of doses, it's a good way to survive our normal cells. So that's a um, dose fractionation. Another way is if there's a good way to just focus our dose onto the tumor tissue. While it's not always possible, but by focusing or giving the radiation only exposing nearby the tumor and not much of the normal tissue, that would be great. So that's uh, uh, another way we want to discuss. So that's focusing the radiation dose. And uh, on, as an example, uh, for example, this um, prostate cancer uh, uh, that is inside our abdomen, abdominal body, and uh, we want to give a radiation to only the prostate and not the nearby uh, important parts such as uh, anus or another part. So in that case, we actually develop a special uh, radiation therapy as here. It's an engineered one. You can see this uh, a diagram, the titanium cup. We have a lead, uh, lead marker, which we can see through x-ray picture, whether we did a good job for placing this. And of course, there is a pellet with this uh, radiation <clears throat> uh, inducing material in this case is 103 uh, PD 
as coding and then the size is about less than one millimeter diameter and about 4.5 millimeter length. So this is actual uh, the photo compared to this uh, one cent US uh, coin. And, and uh, this diagram schematic shows that this is a um, uh, prostate uh, and which is from bladder and you can see this as a seed. If we can uh, insert this seed only in the prostate, then the range of the extent of radiation in this case is not too far, only very localized. So that these nearby prostate tissue, which contains a cancer, will be uh, red, uh, will be affected while saving the the, the other a little far located uh, place. So how do we do in reality? So this is a uh, human uh, by, by inserting, showing that how to insert this pellet. So this is probably two legs and this, uh, uh, this is an anus uh, so that using ultrasound to watch in real time what's happening, are we doing good job uh, in, the, uh, in the prostate. So after this, we can use x-ray to identify where, where everything went where, but we, I think this arrow shows some, maybe one uh, seed uh, went to some, maybe some, some strange place. So this kind of therapy is called a brachytherapy in Greek, it means a short, so short distance effect uh, therapy by implanting radioactive materials or called seeds into or nearby the tumor. So there's another way of um, uh, also localizing uh, radiation. So that we call intensity modulated radi radiation therapy. Let me explain by uh, showing this picture that this is a, 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 an instrument that actually shows electron beam uh, giving a high energy you know, radiation and bending uh, not using mirror, but bending magnet to shine through the, the tissue, which is where the patient is here. So in, we need a beam shaping and creating this X-ray uh, through uh, the cancerous tissue. So uh, the idea is that this X-ray is so strong that it can almost penetrate the tissue, uh, which means if the tumor is inside, then we shine one time. Then let's say um, we shine, let's say this is a brain and we are looking at the, in the middle a tumor, we shine one time, then we shine the normal tissue beforehand and afterwards as well. While the tumor, when we rotate the other direction, then the normal tissue is only shine, shown once while the tumor tissue can be shined uh, twice. By this idea, you can see that uh, we rotate uh, this uh, radiation by rotating it. Uh, if the tumor, for in this case, it's prostate, is in, inside, then we shine once this direction, another, 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 then the, near, the surrounding normal tissue is shined only one time while the tumor tissue is shined multiple times. So, by this intensity modulated radiation therapy, we can uh, effectively focus more radiation dose only to the tumor. By rotating device uh, to provide radiation delivery from angular positions, uh, also by uh, help by CT scan. So I think these are CT scanners uh, to, to, to design and showing where we are actually shining. Okay, so next time we will discuss about uh, chemotherapy and other therapies. Thank you.